जय श्री मन्नारायण जय श्री मन्नारायण जय श्री मन्नारायण आई पे माई ओबेसेंस टू माई स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर श्रीमद जगत गुरु सुदर्शन आचार्य जी महाराज आई पे माई ओबेसेंस टू लॉर्ड श्री रामानुज आई पे माई ओबेसेंस टू दी पूर्वा आचार्य आई पे माई ओबेसेंस टू दी ट्वेल्व अलवार्स आई पे माई ओबेसेंस टू माई लक्ष्मी एंड आई पे माई ओबेसेंस टू लॉर्ड श्री मन्नारायण आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू यर फिजिकली एट श्री नारायण धाम इन दर्बन साउथ अफ्रीका I welcome those that watching this discourse locally, nationally, and internationally, and I welcome in advance those that's going to be watching this discourse when it is posted on YouTube and the various groups from around the world subsequently. A special welcome to Roni Viren and his Rocky Naidu and uh, minorities of South Africa, Mosa. we welcome all of you here uh you are soldiers of south africa but soldiers in civilian clothing we need you and this is why we have invited you we need you to do the work that we cannot do we have some veteran politicians here rocky and ronnie they know how a municipality is run they know what the local needs are and south africa is not in a stage yet where a national political party can satisfy the needs of the minority even america with all its years of democracy is still not in a state where the national government can satisfy the needs of the minority yes or no rocky minorities always have special needs because they are over in the bigger schemes of politics and like i said last week i come from a political background i got involved in politics when i was in sastry college in 1978 during the schools boycott you remember viren rocky schools boycott 1978 and i was in a all boys school the school teachers were militant at that point in time not only in sastry college but throughout indian teachers were very militant very hard working and to come out during the boycotts we had to to have guts of steel and thank god that the principal of sastry college was also an activist and i stated that since then i have not stopped working i met rocky a few times in chatsworth rocky knows i single handedly demolished an entire organization you remember rocky where the odds were against me my life was threatened i escaped a few bullets but i put that man in jail i don't want to mention his name he's late today yes i don't want to mention his organization's name they are disbanded through the act that i performed at that point in time rocky will tell you i was the secretary general and a very esteemed position in chatso we were making chatso jump okay yes or no yes yes but despite making chatso jump you must make things jump for the truth 
and we were making things jump, but not for the truth. And I warned this man for six months, if you do not stop, I'm going to bring you down. And he was a very big man. Rocky will tell you, if he had no judge, no police, no prosecutor, no newspaper, no TV, he was ruthless and he was dangerous. In fact, whole KZ then jumped when he walked around. Correct. Yes, Rocky? Absolutely correct. I brought him down myself. Because behind the truth is the Supreme Lord. And it was in a political situation, Rocky. It was all to do with a seat in the municipality. And this is why I'm inviting you, politicians. <coughs> Politicians can sell their mother for that seat. Yes or no, Rocky? Yes. So please, to get to the seat is all love. But once the seat is there, it's very, very dangerous. Ronnie, you have a few candidates here? Please do not become a candidate for that seat and the perks. Become a candidate to serve your community. The perks will follow naturally because God is behind all perks if you do your things truthfully and honestly. And I have great regard. When Jessica told me that Rocky and Ronnie Viren had formed a party and they called it minorities of South Africa. Others may not be happy with what you did, Ronnie and Rocky. They'll say you're a breakaway from the DA and there's no more use for you. I do not look at it like that. You were brave enough to come out of a dimension and because your love for social reform is so great, you have started a small party because you want to further your ambitions in furthering the ambition of mankind. And this is what this ashram is about. In this ashram, we see one religion, the religion of love. That is our substratum. And in this ashram, we see one race, the race of humanity. I am preaching practically intertwining these two dimensions around the world based here in South Africa. I had this love of what I'm doing now seated here when I became politically aware when I was in Standard 8 in Sastre College. And today God gave me this position and empowerment. You cannot preach love and you cannot preach humanity if you are not empowered. If you are not empowered, you cannot do it singularly. This ashram has an impact around the world from here in South Africa. We're going to be nine years old on the 10th of this month, of October, sorry. We're going to be nine years old. In nine years, we changed the spiritual dynamics. There is a spiritual revolution that we started here in South Africa that was started by my guru in Faridabad in 1989. It caught fire here in Durban and it has spread around the world. So, both to Rocky and Ronnie, nothing is impossible. If you place your faith in the hands of the Lord and if you are honest and if you are detached from your political position, and if you are attached to the welfare of humanity, 
then you are assisting the Lord. Then you are assisting the Lord and you become the assistant of the Lord. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about finances. Don't worry how you're going to get your posters done. Don't worry about those things. Let God worry about it. I saw your posters in, I was in Pargate yesterday. Right? I saw your posters in Pargate. Who's, who's standing in that Pargate one? Oh, candidate is here. <laughs> All right. So, listen to your political leaders. They know the ins and outs of politics. They are matured politicians. Don't teach them if you want to be successful as a candidate. Let them teach you. Don't run emotions in politics. Don't run emotions in politics. It's not about you anymore once you become a candidate. It's about the party and the ideals of the party that you represent. You lose your individuality and you surrender to the manifesto and constitution of your party. Sometimes you'll have to sacrifice your view for the party's view. Not sometimes, most of the times. You'll have to sacrifice your view for the party's view. And as I said, I know these two gentlemen from when I was a civilian. So they, are, they know the tricks of the trade. And while some discussing, there will be people from South Africa and around the world thinking, what the hell this guru is doing, Rocky? Bringing politicians into spirituality. And there's a saying universally that politics is a dirty game. Don't bring it into religion. Is there a saying or not? Yes. 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 And that is the problem in the world today. That is the problem in the world today. Because they kept God from politics. And if God is not in politics, then the demon is in politics. Yes or no? Look around the world. Yes. If God is not in politics, then you paved the way for demons in politics. So politics and God go hand in hand. Politics and God goes hand in hand. Why? Because today you had politics for breakfast. When you go home, you're going to sleep in a house designed by politics. When you're going to sleep on a bed, you're going to sleep on a bed designed by politics. When you're going to take a bath, you're going to use a soap designed by politics. There's nothing that you do in your life is not designed by politics. And then on the flip side, when you breathe in your oxygen, you breathe in, in God. It's an attribute of God. Whatever you do today, yesterday and tomorrow, it is through God. So God and politics is intertwined. You cannot separate God from politics. The demon and politics is also intertwined. Yes or no? So you choose in which thread you want to be. From our perspective at the Sri Narayan Dham, politics is like oxygen. And we will continue spiritualizing politics, not only here in South Africa, but around the world. We We need to take 
small steps in politics but make big strides in your input candidates it's not about your seat you can meet jessica later she will tell you that i stood for a particular party i brought in 37 candidates and i made a seat in itequini municipality and i was number 1 on the pr listing and we won one pr listing with the amount of votes that we had but i refused that seat and i gave it to a more competent person that i thought would represent the organization in the municipality so i'm preaching rocky i'm preaching from practicing i'm preaching from practicing go and fight now forget personal seats we need you in council rocky we need you in council if council is right the country will be right if council is right the backbone of national politics is the municipal politics if the municipality is running right then the country will run nationally right this democracy that dawned upon us came upside down but it had to we had to start nationally first and then we became then we brought in the municipalities so rocky how long since you not in the da 5 years and uh, you rani 8 8 so the da all these big national organizations they lose their way because of the national importance and they forget the municipalities although the branches start at ward and municipal level all right so we need to bring i'm sure jessica the da is also going to be seated here one of the days because we invited all parties across the political spectrum including the anc and they will also be seated here one of the day but i'm saying that rockies and ronnie's endeavors into the formation of this organization is relevant is politically relevant it is needed they broke away because they were dissatisfied in the direction that the organization was taking they stuck around rocky for 5 years ronnie for 8 years and like i've stated in a few satsangs ago i joined the police force after university so i was still in my youth when i became militant and i'm running this ashram as a militant guru rocky i don't fright to smack a few heads and bash a few heads because i am coming from the militant aspect all right i have no fear as a guru because i am militant just like that you are political you can come out of mainstream politics but you cannot take politics out of you can can they rocky we are rony you you understand so you are tired of watching the news you was tired of everything and you decided to take a stand with me and come through okay so i'm going into this background without meeting rocky i'm seen rocky after 10 years 15 years 15 years i'm seen rocky for the first time i think rony as well rony you was in in council when that councilor was in council that i'm talking about the both of you already yeah so i also met you at city hall and i think i met you you represent phoenix always yes right okay so i'm meeting both these people after 15 years they didn't give me a background for me to back them up 
All of you understand, I'm talking to your candidates. They might think you're prepped a guru. Okay? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm just meeting Ronnie after 15 years. <laughs> but being a politician, I know that feeling. Okay? And this is one of the reasons that I myself introduced this platform to bring in politics. Because as I said, politics, spirituality, even if you're an atheist, you are still intertwined with politics. Because politics determine your every action, the car you drive, everything is determined by politicians. Okay? So please, I said this last week and I'm saying this this week again, the greatest politicians are Indians. The biggest politicians are Indians. They perform politics in bars. They perform politics in pubs. They perform politics at funerals. They perform politics at weddings, at parties, Indians. But they never put across armchair and mouth politics. They'll sit at home and they'll want others to go put that cross. They'll sit at home and they want others to stand in the queue and do the dirty work. And this is why Indians do not have proper representation because you blame the Indian voters. You blame the Indian voters. So the Indian voters need to get up from their backsides. I said this is a militant satsang. We use words such as backsides here, yeah, okay? All right, get up from your lazy backsides, Mina. Go to a polling booth. Stand in the queue. Be thirsty. Keep your 1.5 meters and vote because you, are, you cry the most. Those people who did not vote are the biggest crybabies in this country. They cry for all, whatever is wrong politically in this country. But if you ask them, did you vote? They'll say no. If you do not vote, then you have no reason to cry. Because if you did not vote, that means the country is in a perfect condition. Yes, Ronnie? If you do not vote, then to you it means the country is in a perfect condition, so you do not have to vote. So that single vote, that single vote that you are withholding when you sit back can be the game changer, yes or no? You don't need thousands of votes to change the game. One single vote can change the dynamics of politics in your ward or in your municipality. Just one vote. That's how great your one vote is. And many people died. Many people lost their lives. Many people suffered for you to have that vote. Many, 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 many people suffered for you to have that vote. That vote is equivalent to your ATM card. That vote is equivalent to your ATM card. You want to change the dynamics. You want to change the dynamics of your social standing in this society. Then that vote can cash not only for you, but for the rest of that society around you. So please, speak to your family, gather up, and politicians in the know will tell you that there will never be another opportunity like this opportunity here for voting. The ANC is sidetracked. There's a big gap, and as Viswan said last week, 
if you do not vote you may have malema as your mayor yes politically correct then we also invited the EFF but it is up to you who you want to have as a mayor it is up to you politics is not a dirty game it's a human element that make politics dirty politics is needed in every society without politics society cannot function by you not being politically aware and not scrutinizing who is going into politics politics become a dirty game yes rocky yeah if you see a rogue and if you see an undesirable person standing as a candidate in your ward that you live in what is your duty vote him out vote him out look for a desirable candidate and activate your ward activate your ward to vote for the desirable so the undesirable is put out that's how simple it is and it can go right up to national if you don't want a particular party in government it's your one vote that takes away that particular party in government okay. all right so i'm going to conclude my discourse i'm blessing you rocky and roni with all your candidates i wish you all everything of the best i also offer myself to you if you need in your campaigning if you need the guru for a few hours to sit with you somewhere guru not going to talk this is the guru's political dimension out there you will talk your manifesto but if you want the guru for anything then the guru and a few of his devotees will come to you provided you give us a week all right then those of you that do not want to partake in the arti because of any reason what whatever your reason is if you belong in another faith we will not be upset because god loves diversity if you look at our apples our bananas our roses they are diverse so just like that religion is diverse we will do arti arti for those of you that do not understand arti is simply waving a light at our favorite deity thanking him or her for coming from darkness into light from ignorance into knowledge there's a science behind arti and that is the science so if anybody feels uncomfortable in getting involved in arti do not think the guru going to be come uncomfortable by you being uncomfortable you may sit where you are the rest of the people will do arti and a guru will still love you the same because you have your own religion your own tradition your own culture and you can pursue your own religion your own tradition your own culture you have a right to do that. okay all of you understand after arti we're going to set up on this side we'll move the chairs and then uh, roni and uh, rocky can take over on the political side right